Okay. Now, Linnaeus was huffing along the wheels. Linnaeus was heavy, even his train. Train. The train. The troublesome trucks giggled. They said, "No, no, 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 no." And they bumped Linnaeus hard. Suddenly they they went too. Linnaeus went too half fast. That suddenly he saw a cliff. Linnaeus's brake suit put on. But it was too late, and Linnaeus and Linnaeus crashed off the wheel. Off the wheel. Just then, Mr. Percival walked. Walked up. Linnaeus was sad. I, I'm not happy. Said, said Linnaeus. Linnaeus, you have caused confusion in the land. I know you've tried. You've tried your best. That, that's good. And that, then, so, then, when Mr. Percival walked up. To Westy, Westy, I know you've broken down, but I have an engine that can, that's gonna hold you, hold you and Renaeus to the to the repair shed. Okay, now Scarlowy and Serhino were chuffing round the bend. Serhino was scared. Don't worry, Serhino said Scarlowy. It's just a little bit wobbly. Scarlowy didn't know that Sir Han Sir Hannah was scared, but but luckily Sir Hannah made it. Well done, Sir Sir Hannah said Scarlowy. Well done indeed. Sir Hannah felt pleased with himself, but he didn't like the tra the old tracks. Scarlow Scarlowy went on. Scarlowy went on the first track. On, on the first track, Sir Sir Hannah went on the next. Sir Hannah was gonna huff and chuff to it in front of Linnaeus, then then back to back to back then back to Mr. Percival. Linnaeus huffed and chuffed. He chuffed and puffed. He was so scared that suddenly he made it. Mr. Percival was waiting. Mr. Percival said, said to Scarlowy, Scarlowy, you want to help Linnaeus go back on the track. Please be careful, because if you don't, the trucks will fall down, just like you did when you, when you. So be careful. Then Mr. Percival uh, walked to Linnaeus. That's okay, Linnaeus, of your accident. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Percival. Scarlet barely went forward. He coupled up to a nascent train and pulled and pulled and pulled. Ah! 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 Oh, you're so heavy! Oh, you're so heavy! You can do it, Scarlet. So Scarlet tugged. And tugged and tugged. He tugged so hard that that Linnaeus got back on the tracks. Good job, good job, Scarlow. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, that was a very good job you did," said Sir Handel. You got him back on the track and the train all by yourself. Yeah, that was awesome. Suddenly, Sir Hino croaked his axle. Oh no! No, I can't even hold you," said Sir Hino. 
to handle some terrible. I spent all this day saying that I didn't go to the corn hopper, I didn't go to the wall hopper, and now I'm out of corn and water, and that makes me blow out my axle, said Sir Handel. I have plenty of coal le left. I can hold you and Linnaeus and Westy to the repair shed, said Scarlowy. Thank you, Scarlowy, said Sir Handel. Yes, thank you very much. We really appreciate all your help. You're a really useful engine today, said Renaeus.